Rebel Nation, welcome back. Another quick video on Rebus Chain. I've done two videos earlier on, which shows you how to claim the airdrop. Should be very straightforward, although I've seen people still having issues. But if you follow the two videos, you should have the answer right there. And I've done my best to even respond to the comments. Okay. So in this one, I'll try to basically provide some of the stuff which I forgot to mention in the previous one, which I actually noticed right after that okay so i will be reading some stuff from their medium page i'll try to make sense out of this okay pretty short but important and uh, before i get into this someone asked me uh, one of, in one of the comments that the evmos apr went down it was 250 i think percent yesterday it kind of dropped all of a sudden to 192 i really don't know if they're doing kind of some sort of adjustments or i guess so but you know the main point is, the question was, hey, what do you think about the APR? It went down. Uh, do you think I should sell or unstake? Something like that along the line. Uh, man, I don't have any perfect answer to this. Okay? But if you ask me for my opinion, right? Then obviously I can give you some. Because my point is, we are not on the same level. Alright? Depending on what's your intention in the ecosystem. I'm just getting started. Evmos, I just got in not just because of the APR. I got in because the project is new, I see it has potential, and I don't see a reason for me personally getting out of projects in the bear market. I mean, this is weird. I'm actually trying to get in, in projects right now or throughout whatever the months, right? This is not a time for me personally to get out of project unless the project is shady, scammy, uh, Ponzi, whatever. That's a whole different story. If I find out something like that, then I'll probably decide, um, change my decision, right? But for now, the APRs don't decide whether I'm staying or not. It's, you know, I've been with them since uh, 1,200 person APR or even more than that. And I didn't talk about EVMO since the beginning. So, you know, and again, nothing changed for me. I want to see it build. They're just getting started. So for me, why would I? I mean, if you want to unstake sell, that's up to you. But yeah, nothing changes for me. All right. So hope that answers. Now, coming back to Rebus Chain, I noticed something weird. And that was after staking, right, even the rewards, of course, the APR is uh, currently i think 490 or something 500 it did drop from it was four or five thousand i get that i'm not an apr chaser right again we are <laughs> we are staking free stuff that we just got ad dropped we don't even know the price of rebus token right i'm gonna try to come to that a lot of people are asking what's the price when it's gonna get listed i'll do my best to give you know give, give you that information but my point is i'm gonna first what i did was claim the ad drop all right, and then you stake it because ad drops introduce you to a new ecosystem. Uh, some people decide to dump for profits. Some people would just uh, buy more if they see potential because we are early and you have decent APR. You stake it. You want to get out in the bull market. I mean, you know, people have different strategies. That's the point. That's why there's no perfect answer. Depends on how much you're putting in it, how far, uh, what your risk, your appetite to risk, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So, anyways. APR currently is 400 something, which is better than 0.1%, which you might get from the banks and traditional finance. So for me, again, APR over here doesn't matter. I need to know the potential, which I'll find out once the project launches and all that. Okay. But I noticed that the rewards is not moving as much as I expected. It's been over 12 hours now or more than that, 24 hours. How is it possible with the 1000% APR staking a decent amount and I'm just getting 0.03, right? Then I realized maybe... The rewards hasn't started yet i guess i don't know frankly speaking this is the page that'll answer so actually without wasting time let's read this launch plans and why with the constantly evolving crypto landscape it's imperative that we keep the growing reverse community up to date allowing everyone to understand the reasoning beyond how and we uh, why we make our decisions the short of it is our mission is to bring more financial power and flexibility to individuals through simplified DeFi access and utility after considering voluminous feedback from the community, we have modified our launch plans to maximize participation and ensure goals and values are intact. The month of September is important for Rebus Chain as we move forward with our airdrop, mainnet, and PCD, which is public coin distribution. Here's all you need to know regarding the upcoming events. Airdrop on September 15th. So that was done, right? Public coin distribution via LBP, which is liquidity bootstrap pools. And that'll take place on September 27th to 30th. Okay, that's when they're getting listed on Osmosis, I believe so. Rewards and trading will be enabled on October 1st. So you see this? Rewards and trading. So did you mean by staking rewards? Right now, 
this one will will start around october 1st i don't know maybe that's what it is or was it the liquidity pool rewards so let's see like i said i'm just trying to you know provide whatever is there trying to make sense out of this okay so rewards and trading will be enabled on october 1st governance reset back to the standard time frame okay airdrop on september 15th 2022 why before lbp liquidity bootstrap right commonly liquidity bootstrap pools launch before airdrops but we have strategic reasons for reversing this order and believe other projects may follow suit this was interesting because the uh, currently the airdrop is worth zero right because there is no price in it like you know, no fiat price attached to it so this is one of the main reasons better for your taxes in most jurisdictions receiving an airdrop before an lbp will avoid a taxable event at the time of distribution the token will have no value therefore taxes will be calculated and due at the time of the sale of the token by its owner providing complete control over the schedule okay platform growth we believe having the airdrop first will motivate more users to participate in the public coin distribution fairness to be fair to LBP participants in this new order of airdrop, then LBP, a few functions will be blocked upon mainnet launch, specifically rewards, and trading will not be enabled, as it would be unfair to LBP participants if airdrop users, founders, and investors received a large amount of the rewards before the LPP launch. Okay, you see what it is? So they're trying to make it fair, and I guess that's why this reward is stuck. So it's probably... Uh, I don't know then why do we have to I mean what was the point of hurrying being early and trying to chase the thousand person APR when well anyways it doesn't matter right I mean I showed you how to claim it we did till mission 3 right you can actually vote now these are the third one here you can vote and you can unlock the, the third one here see and then the other two mission 4 and 5 they're coming okay so basically the rewards haven't started they're trying to make it fair according to this and investors is a large right that's what i believe the pcd will be voted on and launched using governance so that the community can approve funding for the lvp september 27th to 30th we're also doing this since voting is one of the tasks for collecting tokens from the airdrop this will allow airdrop users to continue accruing their rewards all right rewards and trading will be enabled on october 1st right this was mentioned once the lvp is over we will enable reward and trading via governance again the community will vote for the network to start fully functioning so it's still not functioning properly. I mean, completely. This will allow everyone with tokens to participate at the same time in the rewards and start trading if they wish to do so. Making it fair. Okay. Governance reset to the standard time frame. Once all features of the blockchain have been enabled, we will set governance back to the standard time frame of four days. If you have any questions and queries. Yeah, okay. I'm not on their Telegram or Discord, but I heard there's quite you know, decent information in there. Uh, so maybe catch up get on there okay maybe i'm missing out something but based on what i'm seeing october 1st is where the rewards start so i'm going to keep an eye on this i'm going to keep an eye on the, the osmosis zone and you know the decks and the lps and c and i'll keep you guys posted all right so this is all i have for you seems like a decent project i cannot really say anything much taking DeFi mainstream bringing DeFi investments to traditional investors i mean it sounds pretty sexy so we'll find out all right so that's all i have for you if you're brand new to my channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.